What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to bring you my long-term review of a desk I've actually had for a long time now. I originally purchased this in 2015, and I think it's relevant now because a lot of people are working from home, staying home more. Uh, maybe you're converting an office to home just because of COVID, more stuff is going on in the home setting. So this is the Apex desk. This is the Elite series. This is the 71 inch. They do make a 60 inch also, but this will mainly apply to the 71 inch, but I assume they're very similar in build quality. Uh, this desk isn't super cheap. It's not one of the higher ends. There is desks that cost eight, nine, a thousand dollars for a standing desk. Uh, this ran about $700. I think 678 is what it typically is at 699 somewhere around there. Uh, so I purchased it in 2015. It took about a week to come in. Shipping did take a little bit of time, but uh, there's a reason for that, and I'll get into that. A uh, few tidbits about the desk. There wasn't a whole lot of color options when I purchased it. There's a ton now. Uh, some few quick specs. Uh, it is not real wood. Uh, it is uh, PDF laminated. It says it's one inch thick. Um, it doesn't say anything about it being real wood uh, and it can handle up to 235 pounds. I'm not going to go over how far it goes up and down uh, mainly because it's been able to do both of those fairly easily for me uh, within the range that I sit and stand. Um, so the first thing I noticed about the desk uh, is that it is extremely well built for the price point. While the top may not feel like real wood, it actually when you pick it up it is super super heavy it's a two-person job if you want to move it uh, i just moved my stuff from upstairs to downstairs uh, and it's a very heavy overall system the legs the desk top it's extremely heavy uh, it's also extremely easy to move so i've moved this about five times uh, and it's held up pretty well so the construction of this thing i think is one of the top selling points is that it is just a solid built desk if you need it even if it's in like a, a office where it's getting used 24 7 uh, obviously I don't use it 24 7 but this is something that's going to withstand the time I've moved it a ton uh, and it's easy to actually move it's easy to take apart there's six screws to take the top off uh, and you can move it pretty easily uh, same thing with the legs there's four screws on each leg so you can take those off so I had to do that to move it downstairs took about half an hour to take it apart and put it back together. It's very easy to do. Uh, so I'm real happy with the construction of it. Uh, it did come slightly damaged when it was shipped, but that could be because of the shipper. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm sure I could have contacted Apex Desk and they probably would have actually taken care of it, but it was very minor. It didn't bother me because uh, I'm pretty sure the packaging wasn't great also, so it may have been on both ends. And it's very, very heavy. It really is a much heavier desk than I actually thought it was going to be. Uh, so build quality is great. I don't have any issues with that. Um, the overall sit to stand features, there's no program features on mine. The new one they have out right now for the same price has, I think, four programming settings. So if you're looking for something where you can program it for a certain height and just press a button and it goes up and down, that's not it. Uh, this one just goes up and down, has two motors in it. So it is pretty quick. Um, and it feels like you could go up and down as many times as you want. I feel like it's going to withstand the time, uh, especially if you use it a lot with the sitting and standing. Uh, I'd say I use it in a moderate amount with the standing. Generally, I start sitting, uh, and if I'm here for a decent amount of time and I want to stand, I'll, I'll raise it up. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, the controller for the up and down seems a little cheap, but I haven't had any issues with it. Um, you do have to remove that if you want to remove the top, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you do have to remove remove that, but uh, that's the only cheap point that I that I saw on the desk was that. Uh, but mine has held up for the past six years without any any issue. Uh, it stands and lowers to the height I need. I'm 5'11". Uh, it lowers actually really low for what I was actually expecting. So if you're a shorter person, it, it still I think could work for you pretty easily. Uh, the desk is fairly large. The 71 inches is a it's a pretty big desk, especially when you uh, put it into maybe a small office or a small room. Uh, I have it here in the corner of our basement now, and it fits pretty well, but it was in a small room before, and it did take up a decent amount of room, so make sure you measure it. Uh, I think it's 33 inches is what the... 35 inches. 
is no, 33 inches deep. So it's 33 inches deep. It does have this nice little cutout here. So you, where you go in, uh, has a little bit of a cutout, uh, but there's tons of desk area. You do have two uh, holes on each side for uh, cable management, or you could put uh, some type of adapter in there if you wanted plugs or USB cables or anything like that uh, to uh, function. Uh, I've had no problems with the motors. They've been great. Uh, it's probably not the fastest to sit and, sit and stand, but it, it does pretty well. It does make a weird kind of clunk noise when you raise it, but I think that's just because of the gestures in the legs. Uh, but the legs are pure metal. Uh, the whole entire bottom of the desk is metal. It's made of uh, complete metal. Uh, and that's it. I've been really happy with it. I don't know if I would get the white. They may It may be different now, but it has a ton of stains on it. Uh, you could see where I previously had my... Uh, I'll get a, a picture of this up uh, where I previously had my monitor at and you can just see that it is absolutely disgusting. I may be able to clean it with some type of bleach product, but uh, I've tried cleaning it with just regular cleaner and it does not come off. So I'd probably get a different color uh, and they have a lot more color options now than what they used to. Uh, and it could be upgraded to where it's not going to have this, uh, this issue there. Uh, another small issue is I kind of wish it was... Uh, it probably would cost more, but they do have some where it's basically a white whiteboard material to where you can actually write on it, uh, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, but I, that's something that would probably increase the price of it significantly. But uh, that's another cool feature I would like. Uh, my version did not come with a cable management tray. I'm pretty sure the newer versions do. Uh, but what I did is I just bought a $12 one at Ikea and screwed it in. I didn't have any problems with it. I also have my power strip screwed into the bottom, so it makes cable management a little bit easier. I can just plug everything in there, uh, which is nice, but I do believe that the new ones come with uh, uh, a cable management tray already, and you can buy it on the Apex website. I think it's like $30, uh, which, which would probably be a pretty good deal, but that was the only negative. When I got it when I hooked it up. I was like, this is a hot mess because there's nowhere to put the cables at. So that's really the only small negatives I have. There's no tray or anything on the bottom, which may be a little bit nice uh, just for a little bit of storage, uh, but that's a, something that you're probably going to have to pay more. So I do like that it's kind of in the lower end of, for a high quality uh, standing desk. I mean, 670 something. Let's see what the 60 inch costs. So it looks like the 60 inches is, is $600. Actually, they vary in price. Looks like the 60 inches is pretty close to the same price. No, nope, looks like the 60 inch, yeah, it's about the same price. So you may be able to get it for $100 cheaper, but I would just, I would recommend the 71 inch if you can fit it, because I always feel like more space is better than not enough. But I would make sure it fits in your room. Uh, <clears throat> what else? One other thing, uh, this isn't a negative, but it does have like a, a uh, kind of a lip here on the actual desk so putting my monitor arm on here was a little more difficult I didn't have to put any wood or anything underneath but uh, it did take a little bit of just shoving it in there and just making sure it clamped on pretty well uh, but besides that I've been very very happy with it um, mainly because it's probably gonna last the rest of our life uh, I don't foresee it ever having any issues and you can get replacement parts for it so if one of the motors dies you can actually buy it on the Apex website and you could just put a new new motor in instead of buying a whole new desk which I think it's nice it's very easy to put together very easy to disassemble so that's a, another feature especially if you're wanting to uh, keep your desk for life and uh, not keep buying desk over and over originally I was gonna get the IKEA saving desk but I went to the store and looked at it and it was absolute garbage for $400. It was the most flimsy light desk. Uh, I would not recommend buying any standing desk from there. Uh, that's just my opinion, but I find that their stuff is nice, but it does, it's not going to last you your lifetime. This will definitely last. Uh, there's a little bit of fraying on the bottom where you can see the laminate coming up, uh, but that's mainly my fault for when I moved it because I drug it along the floor because I tried to move it by myself once, which was a bad idea. So I think if you took care, a little better care of it than I did and wasn't as careless with it, you wouldn't have that issue. Uh, so that's it. Very happy with it. I will leave the link below if you want to purchase it. Maybe not purchase the white version. It's probably been updated by now. I'm sure it would be fine, but mine does have a few marks on it. I, I can't seem to get off. Uh, 
that's it guys have a good rest of the day weekend um, studio is a little bit different I'm in a basement now and I'm doing this in C-Log so we will see if my computer can actually even handle this footage uh, have a good rest of the day weekend whatever it is out there and I'll see you guys next time